Hi, this is Karen from White Willow. And before I run out this morning to my beautiful Sunday and enjoy my granddaughter's birthday, I am going to make some sauce that I'm gonna put in the crock pot for eight hours. So I just wanted to whip it together really quick and I thought I would share it with you. We are taking four cans of sweetened condensed milk. We are just gonna pour these into a bowl. This is already rich enough, so you can imagine what this outcome is gonna be like. And I am gonna get the spatula out here because we do not wanna waste one little drop of this. I put it in a glass bowl just so I could scoop it out better into the jars. Once we get these into the jars, Ooh, it's so sweet. We are going to put them in the crock pot and put water over the jars, completely covering the jars for eight hours. This is gonna be the most delicious caramelized treat that you will ever have. Okay, maybe not ever, but it's pretty darn good. This is just the bowl of the condensed milk. That's a little high. I probably should have put it in a bigger bowl. We are going to add two tablespoons of vanilla. Do not waste your cheap vanilla on this delicious topping for just about anything. That's one. I, that one was a little shy, so I'm going to go ahead and make this one a little overflowing. And that's two. So two tablespoons vanilla extract, and then one teaspoon sea salt. I tend to go a little shy on the salt. I'm not a big salt person. I don't generally cook with a lot of salt. So I'm gonna put that aside. Do not use table salt, use sea salt or Himalayan salt. And then we're gonna just mix this together. Slowly, don't splash any of that vanilla out of there. You want every bit of it absorbed into the condensed sweetened milk. We are going to ladle these in to our jars. Again, this is a really easy one to get really messy and it sticks to the ladle, it sticks to the wire whisk, it just sticks to everything. But we wanna go ahead and put this in about a quarter to a half inch headspace. And what that means is how far the product is from the top of the jar. I'm gonna see how many this makes. Okay, so now we are going to take our lids that we have cleaned as well as our jars and we're going to just place them on top of each jar. And this looks like it made like six eight ounce jars. Um, I am gonna make some four ounce jars as well before Christmas so that I can have some for sale and some as gifts. That one doesn't wanna seem to. You wanna put these down just fingertip tight. You're going to put them in the crock pot. You want the water Whoops, that's if I put a lid on it. Just ready to screw it on down and it doesn't even have a lid on it. You want the water to be over the top of the jars. So I get trying to rush out of here and do this real quick before church. And then there's that one. Okay, it's a little low. So I'm going to add a little water. I am going to put this in here. I probably should have added the water afterwards. If anybody moves this crock pot today, they're in trouble.
We have our six pint jars in here, eight ounce jars. Water is all the way to the tippy top. And we're going to put it on low for eight hours. And then we'll come back and I'll show you the result. One is just a tad bit darker. This is the one with the cocoa. This is the one with the just the sweetened condensed milk with a little vanilla. You let them cook in the crock pot for eight hours. And then as soon as you pull them out, they'll start pinging and you'll have a delicious ice cream topping, coffee sweetener, angel food cake. You can put it over strawberries. It's just endless. That's it for today on White Willow. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. As always, have a great day.